here. And Michelle. And we are Adventures, Adventures Ahead. Ahead. Today we're going to be talking about cruising on a ship the, the day, day after it comes out of dry dock. So, there's been a lot of news about this topic. Yeah. This is Cruise Chat episode 19, by the way. 19 of them. Uh, so the date today is November 7? Got my phone right here. 4. 4. <laughs> It's November 4, and the Carnival Sunshine, so this is kind of what we're basing it a little bit off of, but also some other things that we've heard. So, the Carnival Sunshine just came out of Dry Dock a couple, two weeks ago. Our buddy Scotto was on it the first week of Dry Dock, and they had issues. Electrical he said issues. it was a great cruise, though, and they had a wonderful time, so... But, they had electrical issues, they were stuck in... San Juan, San Puerto Juan Rico. Overnight. They missed their next port, Grand Turk. Grand Turk. And then also last week on the next cruise, uh, the ship listed. And what is listing, Michelle? Like tips. Whoa! Outside. There's pictures of uh, dishes on and the everything floor going and things over. broken. Um, you guys know our feelings about the sunshine. It's been well documented. <laughs> but I think also. That would make me really leery about cruising on a ship the day after dry dock. Right. Like, I want a ship that's going to have some uh, miles underneath it. Or nautical miles underneath it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, one that's been out there. Maybe like a month out. Right. I, I don't think I would. No. Because also, we've seen YouTube Sorry. videos where people... The ship is still under construction. Because ships are on really tight schedules, aren't they, Josh? Yeah, because when they're not sailing, they're not making money. Nope. So they're going to rush... That's why I said they're going to rush through... And try to really get it, you know. Yep, and if something's not done, they're going to probably finish it at sea. Don't you think? If it's the date, not the date, yeah. Yeah. I, th I feel. I do too. So. so I would be really cautious about sailing on a ship the day or even the month after dry dock. I'd give it a couple weeks. Yeah. I so. would say three or four weeks. Yeah, a month. Yep. Yeah. So. What do you guys think? Because we know a lot of people that sail after dry dock. Yeah, I mean, like Scott somebody's got to sail time. after dry dock, right? Right. Uh, we never have. All of our ships have been, you know, not after dry dock. Um, not immediately after. Right, right, right. So, but yeah, what, how do you guys feel about this? Do you guys do it or do you guys kind of stay away from it? Or do, does that not even matter? Yeah, does it matter? I never really look mm -hmm. at it, but right. I'm going to start, I think. Yeah, Michelle's going to look into it now, yeah. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else, Josh? I think that's it, because, uh, I mean, the Sunshine's one example. Um, there's others uh, that there's out there, but it's just like, well, and some go smooth and some don't. So I think it's kind of just whatever, so, you know, things happen out at sea on the ship. Just so you guys know, this topic was brought to us by a subscriber. And we don't know who it was, but you will once you see this, because <clears throat> you'll hopefully you'll remember that you Yeah, and if you guys want don't. us to talk about something, comment below on this video. Yep. Sound I good? got the case of the yawns on this video. Sorry, guys. It's, Wake up. I'm tired, but whatever. Daylight savings. <laughs> yeah, daylight savings is today, so I'm like feeling the effects a little bit. All right, guys. Okay, guys. I will talk. We will talk to you later, and we will be on a ship very soon, having our whatevs videos come out. About a month. Ah! Oh, party time! Bye. All right, bye. <laughs>